Okay, about a month ago, um, I made a video on actually how to recharge a domestic refrigerator for your home, okay? It doesn't matter if it's a side-by-side -side or a top and bottom refrigerator like this one. Okay, this is a top and bottom refrigerator, okay? Uh, so we did talk about on the last video, um, I spoke about um, on the back of the refrigerator, you can actually add a valve to the back of the refrigerator. So that ref that video is more hands-on on actually how to actually what 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 uh, materials you need um, to actually recharge your, a refrigerator. Now on this video, we're going to talk about the tools that you need. Okay, the actual tools that you need to recharge a refrigerator. There there is a difference. Okay, now keep in mind. You really don't need any special tools to recharge a refrigerator, okay? You really just need a pair of gauges and some Freon, okay? The only problem is with these refrigerators is that these refrigerators barely use any refrigerant to recharge, okay? So this is the problem with these new refrigerators, okay? If you look at these refrigerators, these refrigerators barely use any refrigerant or freon if you look at uh the, the freon here this refrigerator okay it's an lg okay it only uses 2.26 ounces of refrigerant which is 64 grams okay which the amount of freon barely is literally tiny right so if you don't have much experience and you want to recharge this this um, this refrigerator? Okay, it's going to be pretty hard for you to accurately add the right amount of refrigerant uh, in this refrigerator without overcharging or undercharging. Like, how do you really know if if you don't have any experience? How do you really know how much freon you're really adding in a unit? If you look in this free in this unit here, this is actually a frigidaire. Okay. In this Frigidaire, this Frigidaire, okay, if you look at the um, the tag here, okay, it only uses 1.58 ounces, which is 45 grams of, of Freon. I mean, you're talking literally nothing, okay? It, now, when I literally mean nothing, okay, I'm, I'm comparing this to like, let's say, central air conditioning when you have your air conditioning unit um recharged in your home or your business you're talking about you can put 15 pounds 10 pounds of refrigerant like nothing let me tell you what one point one and a half ounces of refrigerant is okay there is more okay this is what we're talking about this prada okay is actually about 1.7 ounces of perfume okay there's actually more liquid in this if this were to be freon because freon does look like this when it's under pressure okay there's actually more liquid in this prada bottle of perfume than in that refrigerator right here so if you look right here okay this refrigerator right here, this refrigerator, okay, is 1.58 ounces, okay, on Freon. There's more liquid. Let's let's say this was Freon in this Prada bottle. There's more Freon in this Prada bottle than in this whole refrigerator, right? So, I mean, there's really not much refrigerant in this refrigerator. It's, it sounds like a lot but it is really easy to overcharge these refrigerators because literally these refrigerators don't use much refrigerant now this bigger refrigerator right here okay it has a little bit more freon okay this one actually again 2.26 ounces okay i got a bigger bottle this is a versace bottle this Versace bottle is about 3.4 ounces, okay? The, actually, this, ref, this, this Versace bottle has more refrigerant in it 
than this whole entire gigantic refrigerator. So how do you see, if you notice, don't you see the, the liquid in there? Now I'm gonna show you what the pros use when they accurately wanna charge these um, refrigerators. I'm gonna show you. There's another way you can charge these refrigerators. You can have one of these. These are called dial charges okay? And if you look at these dial charges here, you can see right here, there's like a liquid in there. Uh, let's see. Okay, when you move it, when you move it, you can see there's a clear column right here. And there's actually refrigerant in here. This one too, okay? Now what happens is on these dollar charges, if you notice here, you can actually charge the, the refrigerator by the ounces, okay? So this is a very good instrument to actually use to charge a refrigerator. This is, this is the most accurate way to recharge a refrigerator that most people don't know about if you want to charge a refrigerator perfectly. If you notice here, right, over here, it says over here 64 grams okay so 64 grams uh is equal to 2.26 ounces so if you notice here on this dialer charge right here if you notice it says grams so what happens is is that when you have this hooked up to your gauges it's going to drop you can see that the fr the refrigerant's right here and it is moving. See how it's moving right there? Okay, so what happens is when you open this when you open this valve over here, it will drop, okay, to the increments that are needed that you are looking for. So if you notice there's like a little rubber over here. So these little rubbers will tell you exactly where you want it right so let's say this is four ounces okay if this is four ounces and you only want two ounces and then you would put the rubber right there and then when it drops so let's say you had the levels right here you already know that it's about one inch right for two ounces so if your levels are right here it has to drop probably about one inch and you're going to get two ounces of of refrigerant into your into your refrigerator same thing with here you can charge it by grams you, you can convert grams into ounces right so if you want to actually go by grams right let's say you want 64 grams so you know 64 grams you would line it up with the actual glass on the dollar charger so if you have a hundred grams right here you want 64 grams you would probably be like right midpoint right there so when you see your sight glass the actual there's like a uh there's like a, a bubble right here where it tells you see where it's moving so when you see this thing drop about let's say uh two points down okay that's how you know you got your 64 grams of refrigerant, right? So, like I said, this is not required at all. I don't expect anybody to have this dialer charge in your house. This is what the professionals use, like the factories use, or, you know, somebody who's going to come out to your house and install a compressor by the factory if they have one of these. These are actually pretty expensive. These actually, I believe they cost a couple hundred dollars each one. This is the 2.5 pound version. This holds actually 2.5 pounds of refrigerant. This one's a little bigger. This one holds five pounds of refrigerant, okay? I used to do refrigerators about 30 years ago. So I actually still have these. I had this one in my garage, right? Because I used to have, I used to do refrigerators a long time ago, right? So um, pretty much, this is how the factories the professional use to recharge an actual um, unit now most people most companies use a scale okay they get the freon and they put the actual freon on a scale 
And you know what? That's better than doing it if you don't have anything, right? So if you can't, if you don't have one of these, you can use a scale. You get the Freon, put it on a scale, and you will see that the scale is going to get lighter and lighter. But it's still going to be hard because you're literally charge. You're literally. Um, charging small amounts of freon right so when you're when you're charging by ounces like literally ounces like one ounce right it's kind of hard to use a scale when you're only using one ounce of refrigerant i mean you're talking one ounce you this this one right here is actually 1.58 ounces 45 grams right so whenever you're using uh, if, you, if you're actually, let's say you want to learn appliances and you're getting into refrigeration appliances, you really want to get one of these actually. If you're going to really do this type of work, you should actually go to your supply house. These are actually Robineers, okay? Robineers, these are really good gauges. I mean, I've had these for probably over 30 years. You should buy two of these if you're going to get into uh, appliances or refrigeration, okay? Um so like i said um this is the most accurate way i mean i've been doing this long enough where i don't need gate i don't need um a, a dial -a charger i don't need a scale i could actually recharge a unit without with only gauges if i just if i just had gauges i could actually recharge a um a refrigerator at all right so like i said i don't need uh these types of um um instruments but they're really nice to have right if you're gonna do the if you're gonna do a lot of refrigerators these are actually really nice to have uh you don't need these but they're nice to have okay thanks for watching the video